what you get for a million dollars. Let's just quickly take a look here. Banana grove, beach grove. I know somebody that lives on this street. So the groves, they go to Oak Grove High School. It's a nice area. It's by Car Marshall Caudill Park. This house right here is worth a million dollars. Look, it needs, the siding is a little dated. The weird thing about these houses is they have a side entrance. They don't have a front entrance, which I don't know. And looks like, what? I don't, does that look like virtual staging to you? Yeah, you know what? That's virtual staging. There you go. Maybe it is. I don't know. What do I know? It looks like completely vacant. Yeah, that's virtual staging, I think. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Look at the cabinets. Look really close. Oh, crud. Sorry. You can see that the cabinets are original. They have the flat. There's not a whole lot next to this. That's what you get for a million dollars in San Jose today. And again, is this Oak Grove? Yeah, this is Oak Grove High School right there. I went there when I was a kid for a semester, right? I lived down here, Oak Grove's right here. My first house was up here somewhere. Yeah, right here, Plaza Inverno. That's my house right there. It's not a, it's, it's a pretty decent area. It's 46 years old, built in 1977, three bedroom, two bath, 1155. It's $1,000 per square foot. Crazy, right? $909 per square foot. Yeah. Del Roble. So it looks like it just popped up. Oh, is it? Oh, it's right on the busy street. Look at that. Let's take a look at this one real quick. It's right on Snell. That one's going to be fun to sell. And if you go to Snell, it's a pretty busy street. There's a lot of traffic there. So... I think this one's going to take a while to sell. Look at that. Beat up carpet. Original cabinets. Tile. Dual pane. Has a cottage cheese on top. Yep, a million dollars. It's funny when you look at <clears throat> different places and what houses cost and how much houses cost here. It's just crazy, but that's the cost of doing business here, right? Because there's just not a ton of inventory and buyers have chosen to be choosy now instead of, now that's not saying that if you're in Cupertino, you don't really have that choice. If you're in Cupertino or Campbell or whatever, there's a lot less houses for sale, right? We just looked at that where Cupertino, there's 20 houses, where's Campbell? I don't even have Campbell on this. I have to add Campbell, but you don't get a whole lot of choices here. And like this house here, Arletta, there it is. Let's take a look at Arletta. This is a little bungalow. How many square, two bedroom, one bath, 1,038 square feet. Look at this little tiny nothing of a house. That was an ADU back there. I bet you that's not legal. <laughs> <laughs> you have some living space, but that garage was converted. That looks like it was a covered overhang there. I like that. I like the look inside of this. I know it's a two bedroom, but look at that little tiny tray outline ceiling right there. That little end. That is really cool looking. Rounded corners. There's your cooling. 
original uh, cabinetry. Huh? See, you have old world charm there. You see those doors? Not that cheap paneling. It's actually solid, but it's thin. It's older, but it's nice looking. I like that. Oh, that garage was converted into an ADU. See, they didn't even, they just boarded it up to the garage door. Let's take a look at this cottage. There you go. Oh, that is rustic. Oh, that's rough. So another times, my friends. All right, that's it. Okay, so today, today we talked about three things you need to know about living in uh, Silicon Valley, plus a little bit of humble pie. Uh, this weekend's events, beautiful day, best places to retire. We talked about Portugal, which I'd love to go there. I have a friend who wanted to live there. Something happened where he, they denied him. So now he's living in France, but his girl, his daughter is living, is going to school in France. So I'm going to have to go visit him. And then once you get for a million dollars, boy, I tell you what, don't forget, check out this map tour of Willow Glen. The link's in the bottom. And... I'm Vito with Abitano. We'll see you out there.